So if you get a message on your dashboard that says tire pressure sensor fault, I thought I'd go over the causes of this and how you can go about fixing it if you want to. And so the reason this message comes on is that the onboard computer thinks that one of the tires is low or what is called a TPMS sensor inside the tire is not working properly. And every single tire is gonna have a little sensor inside of it. And it basically reports back to the onboard computer what the air pressure is. And if the air pressure becomes low or if there's a problem with this sensor, then you can get this tire pressure sensor fault message. And so the first thing to do is to go around and check all your tires for how much air is inside of every tire. The inside door jam of the vehicle is going to have the tire pressure that's supposed to be at. So for example, here's a 2015 Kia Optima and on the inside door jam you, you can see 33 for four tires and then 60 psi for the spare tire. And so that's the rate of tire pressure. One thing to mention is sometimes there's a little bit of variance inside those TPMS sensors. So if you took it to a tire shop, they'd put 35 PSI in there, but it's not a good idea to go over that. But basically go and look in the inside door jam, you'll have the rate of tire pressure and every single tire should be at that rate of tire pressure. If one of the tires has low tire pressure, then be sure to add some air so they're all at the correct pressure. And so if all the tires are at the correct pressure, then this message should go off. Sometimes you've got to drive the vehicle a little bit, go like five, 10 miles or something for it to clear, but that message should go off. If if it doesn't go off, then the next thing to do is to go around and look for a TPMS reset button. Not all vehicles have this, but some do. And it's basically a little button that just says like set or reset, and it'll be have this little tire symbol. But just look around and see if you have this. You might not have it, but if you do, then press this button or reset that light. And so if your vehicle doesn't have this button or you press it and it doesn't do anything, then the next thing you could do is that you can look for any blowing fuses. You can Google your vehicle. You try to find the TPMS sensor fuse. For example, Here's a 2017 Kia Optima, and the fuse labeled Module 4 is the fuse for the TPMS sensor. And if that blew, it would cause a problem. Sometimes these fuses can be a little bit vague. So if that happens, you can't just look at all your fuses and see if any of them have blown. But that is something you can do, is you can look and see if you have any blown fuses. And so if you check that all out, if all the tires are aired up good, you've driven the vehicle at least 5, 10 miles, there is no TPMS set button, or the TPMS set button doesn't work, and there is no blown fuses, then very likely one of those TPMS sensors it's just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. At this point, it would be best to take it to a tire repair shop and most of them will be able to find and replace a bad TPMS sensor because at this point, very likely, that would be the issue. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a brief overview of what a tire pressure sensor fault means and how you might be able to go about fixing it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.